right, but what is going on guys? How are you guys all doing today? I know you can't reply to me, so drop it down in the comments below. In today's video, we're going to be going over my business idea for this channel, Brandon's Detail. Real quick, before we jump into some of my products, kind of my business idea, like that side of things, I'm just going to give you guys some background information. My name is Brandon. I live in Canada, Ontario to be specific. Um, I've been interested in car detailing for a solid year and a half, maybe two years. Um, I really got into it. I believe it was August of 2019. I bought a truck from my brother the month before. I actually built that on another YouTube channel, which I'm going to be picking up soon, but that doesn't matter for this channel, this video, whatever. Um, but yeah, I bought that truck. It was a mud truck. It was disgusting on the inside. Mud everywhere. The carpets were nasty. The dash was just caked full of mud and dust and everything. The seats were covered in grease, mud, dirt. It was, oh man, that whole truck was just disgusting. So that's kind of what got me into it. I made my mom take me over to the store because I didn't have my license at that point. I grabbed a pack of microfibers, I grabbed some mother's VLR, and I went to town. And I cleaned it up pretty good for what I had, considering I literally had an eight pack of microfibers, some uh, VLR cleaner, and glass cleaner, and toilet paper, paper towel, whatever. I don't remember what I used at that time. I, don't, I literally did it like right behind my house. So um, I basically did it with what I had, and that kind of got me hooked on it. I started vacuuming my parents' cars out, the cars, their trucks, whatever. Started cleaning them. Um, for some reason, it kind of got me into cleaning my rooms, so and now I like having a clean room, I like having a clean car, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so I kind of got into it about a year ago, like fully where I was actually getting hands-on into it. Um, a couple of people that actually got me interested in car detailing were Detail Geek. Um, his videos, man, the, the quality in his videos and how in-depth he goes is amazing. Like it's crazy i love those videos like i always watch them I, I literally wake up early every friday morning just to watch his video still for garage he drops videos every saturday or every other saturday his videos are good um detail geek is still my favorite over still for garage but what i like about still for garage is in different videos he goes over different products like you might not know it, but in like he'll be doing a video, he'll be like, oh, so I'm trying to run a new carpet cleaning solution today, or oh, I'm trying to run a new all-purpose cleaner. You know, kind of give like a little general review on it, which I love that. that. That's pretty cool to me because then like I get to see like, you know, like this product works, this product doesn't, like this product is good for this, this product's good for that. That that style stuff is really nice to know when you're starting out. Um, driveway detail, I got into watching his videos recently. He's pretty good with what he does. Um, and I, I think... I obviously don't know the kid, I don't talk to him, never have. Um, I honestly think his idea was kind of similar to mine. He got into it, he started cleaning cars in his driveway, hence the name Driveway Detail. Again, I, I don't know, I could be totally wrong, but that's kind of just my assumption on that. And uh, Dr. Detail, his videos are pretty good too. I love watching his videos, um, him and his girlfriend, wife, I don't really recall what she is, I don't watch enough of their videos. But I do know, like, they're a team when they do it, and it, it's really cool. They'll go mobile. They even cleaned an RV recently. That was dope. Like, that was a that was a big thing that they cleaned, and it actually came out really nice for what they did. But, yeah, so that's kind of the backstory. I've been into it for about a year. Um, I've been watching videos and, like, actually interested in it for probably two years, though. And this kind of just taken from a hobby to me to me having the end of my bed full of detailing stuff, which we'll get into when I talk to you guys about my products. I do plan on doing exterior and interior detailing. Um, I do have some stuff on me right now. There's going to be some stuff that I am ordering. Um, I need to order a new pressure washer or go buy one. The one that I want is, um, I believe it's like 200 Canadian at Home Depot. It's like 240 on Amazon. I might as well just go pick it up there, save myself the 40 bucks and have it right away. Um, I did have a Karcher K5, but the pump split on that. So, that sucks. Um, but let's get into this. So, we're going to start out with glass. Glass is kind of in between interior exterior. I know, it doesn't matter. It's kind of one of the things, anything will work to clean it, in a sense. Um, what I use is this stuff right here. It is a gunk foaming glass cleaner. Um, this can I got, my brother just gave it to me. He goes, here, use this. So I have this. Um, another one that I'm going to be using is invisible glass. That stuff is amazing. A lot of detailers actually do use that. I do believe that is what Detail Geek uses. Um, and I will be using these Scott's shop towels, like the blue paper towel style stuff. Personally, I just don't like cleaning windows with microfibers. It just, to me, I don't like the way that it looks. It looks kind of weird. Um, like from the inside of the glass, like until it actually dries, it just looks weird. So I don't personally like cleaning glass with microfibers. So I'm just going to stick to my Scott's towels. Maybe I'll change over eventually if I get one of the proper glass cleaning towels. We don't know. 
but for right now, I'm going to be sticking with Scott's shop towels. Um, for cleaning wheels, I have this right here. This is Meguiar's Hot Wheels um, Wheel and Tire Cleaner, safe on clear coated wheels, whatever. It's extreme clean, grabs and dissolves brake dust. So this stuff works pretty good. I just actually tried this out on a spare tire that was underneath my mom's truck. Um, it had been under there for, I believe, eight years since like 2012, her truck's a 2012 Sierra. Um, so I do use this stuff, and we'll get into the brushes I have for that in a minute. Um, this stuff I don't plan on using on all my details. This here is Armor All Ultra Shine Wash and Wax. Helps water beating and delivers incredible Armor All Shine. I've never actually used this on a car. Um, for Christmas, my parents got me the Armor All Car Cleaning Kit. You might be able to see right there, there's like the tire cleaner, the rim cleaner, something like that. There is some tire foam up there. That stuff's just cheap, like I've had that for a little while. Um, I used that on my personal truck when I really didn't fully know what I was doing and I wasn't like fully involved in like, oh, I'm going to do this as a business, like I'm going to do this to make money aspect. So I do have this. I'm going to be using this on my personal vehicles and the detail you guys are going to see next, probably the next two I'm going to use this on. And then I'll probably just give this to my parents to keep their cars clean. And I will be switching over to Chemical Guys Maxi Suds 2 or Mr. Pink. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is ordering the one gallon version off of Amazon for I believe it's like $35, $40 Canadian. Um, it should last me like 30 car washes at minimum, which isn't bad. Like 35 bucks divided by 30, that's like a dollar a car wash really in soap that I'm spending. Um, we can get into my pricing and stuff in another video if you guys do want to know about that. One last thing. I bought these off of Amazon too. These are detailing brushes. Um, yeah. It says it's a five set, but it actually came with six. Um, I believe it goes 18 mil, uh, 18, 16, 12, 14, 10, and like eight or something like that. Um, they're not bad brushes. The quality's not the absolute best, but for the $10 that they cost me, I'll upgrade them later. If I need to. If not, I'll stick with them for as long as I can. But yeah, there's a pack of six of them in here. They work out pretty good. They clean out vents really nicely. Uh, around emblems when you're washing cars, they are quite soft. So you don't really have to worry about scratching the paint. Real quick, I'm just going to lean over and grab some of my wheel brushes so I can show you guys that. So, I have a Simonize, Simonas, however you guys pronounce that brand. The camera is going to scroll it backwards for you guys. Right now I am filming on my iPhone X. Um, this is the tire brush, it's contoured for the tire, so it'll actually clean up the sidewall nicely. I did just use this for my first time. It's a really, really nice brush. It does actually come apart right here. If you guys have like a longer handle, you can put on this or something. You could probably make something else work to go on that, like drill a hole, have a pin or something so it can be longer. Whatever you guys need to do, or you can just buy the longer one. This was like six bucks, so I just picked it up. The white zip tie I have hanging on this is just so that I can hang this on the hooks in my laundry room when I clean these brushes out. They can just hang there and drip dry, air dry, whatever you guys want to call it. But that's kind of the purpose for that. And then when I get my detailing cart, I'll be able to put some hooks on the side and have this stuff all hang so it won't be in my way. So we got that. And I have my tire brush. I picked this up. This was like $4, I think. Um, well, this one's actually for cleaning rims. This is the soft one. So I picked this one up. This one was like 4 or 5 bucks, I think, at Walmart. I just grabbed it temporarily, right? I'll replace this. I gotta get one of the woolly ones that goes like inside the barrel. Again, this I'll probably replace too. This was like 10 bucks. We'll see how it lasts. We'll see how this one lasts. I'm not gonna replace them until they break or unless the quality is bad and I'm not liking how well they're doing. Same thing, white zip tie so I can hang them up. Um, this one, it looks like it comes apart, but I'm not gonna bother pulling on it to bring it apart. But yeah, this was like four bucks. This will do pretty good for cleaning wheel faces and whatnot. I'll check that out of your way so you guys don't have to look at that. I've got a wash mitt here. It's your standard microfiber, like, noodle wash mitt. Um, I haven't actually used this yet, so we will be using this together in my first video, which you guys can probably expect next week, maybe the end of next week. Um, I will be trying to do weekly uploads for my details, but we will see how that all goes. It depends on how many cars I can get to detail and whatnot. I mean, I know, like, I have my truck I can do. I have my mom's, but I already did that, so I can't really do that. My dad's car, my dad's work truck... Uh, I got my friend's mom's van, so there's probably going to be a few details that I will for sure have set in stone coming up on this channel. And then from there on out, it's going to be business details. But right now, we have the world pandemic thing going on, coronavirus. It's going crazy. Um, so I don't really know what business is going to be like for the first little while, but we're going to do our best to live through it and to uh, continue to push through, keep cars clean. That's kind of what I like to do. So 
I also have two five gallon pails. I'm not going to go in depth with both. They're both the exact same. One of them is a Home Depot pail. One of them is just a cheaper pail that I picked up. Um, in the bottom of both pails, I have dirt traps. I bought these from Canadian Tire. They were like 13 bucks each, I think. So i am just grab these ones for now. If I don't like the way these perform, maybe I'll pick up the chemical guys, like the waffle cone style ones. Um, but I have one of those in each bucket, as you can see. Got one in this bucket, and I got one in this bucket. So, as by having two buckets, two dirt traps, I will be using the two bucket wash method. Um, I plan on using the white bucket for clean water, and the orange bucket as like my rinse bucket. Just gonna be easier to color coordinate. White is clean, in a sense, should be clean at least. But yeah, so we're gonna have my wash mitt and my brushes that are all gonna stay inside of that because that's mainly what they're used for. We got those products, and now we'll jump into some of my interior cleaning products for you guys. Another product for interior detailing. This is not necessarily a necessity, but it's nice to have. I have a DeWalt drill. Yes, this is one of the old style drills. I got it for free. Once it stops working, I'll upgrade it. It's one of those things, you know, don't use it, like don't replace it until it's broken. This one works. So I'm not going to replace it. I've got two batteries for it. I got the charger. I got the case. I got everything. So this is a nice addition to my arsenal of tools and stuff that's going to make my detailing a little bit higher quality, being that I have access to this to use. But before we actually move into the liquid products, I know I've said this like four times, we're going to show you some products now. But before I move into the liquids, we're going to talk about brushes. I do have this little handheld brush. Um, I picked this up from Canadian Tire. Um, it's in like the household cleaning department. It's meant for like scrubbing like bathroom tile and stuff. I grabbed this. It is hard bristle. I grabbed this for any like really, really tough stains in seats. I can just spray them directly with some carpet cleaning solution, which I will get to, I promise. And I can just kind of agitate it with this if the drill brush doesn't do it. With the drill brush being said, I have a pack of drill brushes here. So we'll open this up and show you guys. I have used them, so I can do a review on these if you guys would like to see that. Probably will do that for you guys, actually. They're kind of controversial, but they're a really, really good thing to have. This one came with the round one. This is ideal for like cleaning up in and around uh, all those like tough edges. So like if you have a minivan, like kind of in the contours, um, in pickup trucks and cars and vans, anything really around the gas pedal area, if it's contoured, it's really nice. It can kind of get in behind the pedal. Anywhere you can get your drill into, really, you can get this. So that is nice to have. The little like two inch round one Mine are the white ones, this is meant for like the carpet cleaning bristles. The ultra soft white ones say they are meant for wheels, carpet, upholstery, glass, and leather. Um, I don't plan on using these on leather. I don't plan on using them on glass. I don't really plan on using them on wheels unless I have to. I might order another set that I can use on wheels. Um, or I might just order like a specific brush, like one of the four inch brushes. But yeah, I got the two inch one. This one's really nice, like I said, for the smaller stains so it can just stuck in the carpet. Ones you don't really want to worry about, you don't really want to bust out the big one, or even spot cleaning, little tiny stains, this thing would be ideal. I have the four inch round one. Uh, this one looks dirty. Um, it's really not, I've already, I've cleaned this one out so many times. It just kind of looks a little bit dirty. Um, I guess it's just the lighting as well. But yeah, this is a four inch round one. This one is the ideal one to use, just because it's not too big and it's not too small. It's a nice size. And then I have the, I believe this is a five inch round one, five or six, it's a five inch round. Yeah, this will be the five inch round brush. This one is pretty big. I have not actually used this brush at all. This is the only one I haven't touched. Probably will if I get a minivan like in the back, like where the cargo and stuff goes, I'll probably use this one just cause it'll make it so much faster. But yeah, the drill brushes and the handheld brush are a really, really nice addition to have. You don't need them. You can literally make do with this. You just gotta be willing to put on an arm workout. I am, but the drill brushes are nice. It lets me get through stuff faster, quicker, and it'll in the end it does probably the same level of work, just with less effort, which is ideal because then you have more time to go through and do the exterior. You got more time to go through and do like better details in the interior itself. All right, guys. So now we're gonna talk about the interior cleaning products. Um, in my Amazon cart, the order that I do have to make, I do have some Meguiar's, um, either Meguiar's or Mother's, one of the two. I think it's Meguiar's. Um, D101 all-purpose cleaner uh, that I will be ordering in one gallon, dilutable, um, just straight concentrate, so I will be diluting that. Um, probably 10 to 1, 4 to 1 for like rough areas, 20 to 1 for like stupid, stupid clean areas where it's just like a little like, like just a maintenance detail almost. So like just wiping down the dash, 20 to 1, you don't need something strong. 
Um, I do have a whole bunch of different products um, that I can show you guys here. So I do have a little bit of Armor All all-purpose cleaner. This stuff came in that Armor All cleaning pack that my parents got me for Christmas. There is another one of those in the garage too. My dad got one. Uh, glass cleaner. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. Maybe I'll use it on like my TV or like my personal glass, like for my, even my phone. I, I have no idea if it'll work, but we'll try it. Just see what happens, right? Got to experiment. I can't even use that just in like house windows. I can just give it to my mom for cleaning the house, but whatever. Um, got Armor All Original Protectant. I have two of these, actually. This one was given to me. This one was from the Christmas thing. So we'll just use them. Again, maybe I'll use them in my car. Maybe I'll use them in people's vehicles that prefer the look of the Armor All Shine. Um, I do have Mother's VLR, like I said. I love this stuff. It worked amazing. It's probably not the best stuff that you can use, but I like it just because it did such a good job in my truck, and it's kind of my good, reliable thing. Like, I know, like, okay, so this is not going to want to come out the easiest. I can use this stuff if I want to, and if it can't get it out, I'll have to move to something way more aggressive and see if it'll get it out. Um, I do also have a steam cleaner that I'm going to be ordering, which is going to be ideal, because then I can just, like, sill panels, rip them out carefully. Obviously, you don't, don't want to break any clips, don't want to damage anybody's cars. So just kind of take them out nice and carefully, lay them down, spray them down with small purpose cleaner, let it sit for a minute, and then just hit it with some steam, brush it right away. It'll be beautifully clean. I do have Chemical Guys Inner Clean. This stuff is quite well, uh, works quite well, sorry. I can't even speak anymore. It smells absolutely amazing. It's relatively cheap. I was able to pick this stuff up at my local Canadian Tire. I believe it was like $15, I think. Kind of sounds like a lot, but it doesn't really matter. This stuff is use more so for like spot cleaning um like really really sorry again i can't talk areas that don't have a lot of dirt on them it's just kind of like for cleaning up like little spills so like if you have a little bit of coffee running down your thing spray this on a microfiber wipe it away clean it's not designed for taking off like big spills and big disaster areas my carpet solution is another chemical guys product i, wa I watch all of their videos i love their videos i love their products um, this is Chemical Guys Fabric Clean. I have this stuff diluted 20 to 1 in my 1 gallon pump sprayer, which I will show you. And then I'm going to get another smaller pump sprayer, and I'm going to dilute it 8 to 1. And that's designed for, like, the tougher deposit areas that aren't gonna, as easy to clean. So I'll be diluting that 8 to 1, and I will have my 20 to 1 as well. And last but not least, I have the dressing VRP. From chemical guys as well as the armor all protectant and i'm probably going to be purchasing some aerospace 303 eventually um but yeah this stuff works amazing i can get a clip of this in my mom's truck because the interior in her truck is beautifully clean because of it okay and then the last two pieces of equipment i have are going to be this right here this is a bisful little green pro heat this one's designed for pets it was available local to me for only 99 dollars canadian and it is one of the carpet extractors I've used it quite a few times. I love the way this thing works. It works amazing for the price. Maybe I'll upgrade later. We don't know. And then over here I have my one gallon pump sprayer with Chemical Guys Fabric Clean diluted inside of it. You just pick this up, pump it down a couple times, and then you just grab a hold of this and spray her out. Alright guys, that's everything for today's video. This is Brandon's Detailing, and I will see you guys in the next one.